Well, I'm going to first speak to Stephen Pound, who's joining me in the studio today, because, Stephen, you actually know Tom. Well, there's, there's nobody in Greenford didn't know Tom. Um, it's, it's my constituency, um, and, you know, I live about half a mile away from there. In fact, I was at Hamwell Town last night, which is just on the other side of the A40 there. Um, look, Tom was a, a real character, a real local character. Uh, he used to be outside Greenford Station playing the accordion, sometimes occasionally a harmonica, but usually an accordion. And he was absolutely, he was, you, you see the smile on the face of them. He was a sweet, sweet, lovely man. And what he's been doing for the last couple of weeks is Ealing Council has been having a big scheme for uh, Ukrainian refugees. And he was collecting money for Ukrainian refugees. Now, it's you know, there's things you can't say at the moment because we don't know the facts. Um, there's been a picture released and there's been, you know, one of the local residents who I happen to know says that there was a gang of people around him. But all I know is that right now, here and now, Greenford is actually hurting about this because we had a, a fatal stabbing in Acton two days ago um, where a woman, a 58-year-old woman, was killed by a younger woman. Ealing is not a dangerous, dodgy place. It's not the Wild West. And somebody like Tom O'Halloran was very, a very Ealing person. He comes from the Irish community there, which is very deep in our part of the world. And he was well-liked and well-loved. But above all, he was one of those characters that make an area. He's not the person who cement the community. He'd always have the smile and the people say, hello, Tom. You know, and it's uh, uh, the, the brutality, the cruelty, or the apparent the random nastiness and the evil of his death actually really is corrosive to us. And it's going to take a while for us to recover. And I know there's the special services at Our Lady of the Visitation and St. John Fisher Church, which are very, very close to where he, he passed. It's, it's going to hurt, but I mean, I don't, I never knew any of Tom's relatives. I didn't even know if he had relatives. But what I would say is if he didn't have an immediate family, he had a Greenford family. Yeah. And everyone in Greenford and my part of the world is mourning him today.